back to the second part of the blood relation. In this particular video, we'll be discussing questions. The puzzle based question from the topic blood relation. Let's start with the first question. Alright, let's see. We have a question here. And some basic pointers. I'm going to revise it again so that you don't get into it. See, to determine the different relations between certain people, we use certain codes or symbols. Now it's on you. Do you want to use it or do you not want to use it? But it is always easier if I can denote the relations through codes. So if you don't want to follow this, you can make a code yourself. But what I use, I give you an idea. Plus is used to denote a male gender. Minus to denote a female gender. Equal to sign between two persons, A equal to B, मतलब these are a married couple. And just to revise the concept, marriage is always between two genders of different kind. That is, one of them is a male, the other one is definitely a female. Although this is not the reality, but as per as the competitive sector examination paper is concerned, we will stick to this ground rule of couples. That is, a male and a female. Same sex marriages are not to be taken into consideration as per as the questions are considered but that is not a reality we all know that now talking about siblings or same generation we use a singular horizontal line so something like a horizontally b may say siblings ke relation ko ya cousins ke relation ko ya same generations ko denote karta hon agar mujhe जनरेशन हरार की डिनोट करनी है लेट से जनरेशनल गैप तो मैं इसे वर्टिकल लाइन से डिनोट करूंगा ए इज ऑन अ टॉप हरार की देन बी दिस शोज द जनरेशन गैप आई होप ये बेसिक पॉइंटर्स आपको क्लियर है इफ यस देन लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ आवर क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट लेट्स सी व्हाट डू वी हैव ए बी सी डी एफ आर सिक्स मेंबर्स ए टू एफ C is not the mother of B. C is not the mother, but B is the son of C. This can only be possible when C is the father. A and C are married couple, which makes A the mother. And she is married to C. E is the brother of C. E is the brother of C. So positive sign and the same generation. F is the brother of B. F is the brother. F is the brother of B. All right. D is the daughter of A. Daughter of A means daughter of C also and the sibling of B and F. So D can go like this or the other way around is the daughter. Now, who among the following, which among the following is a pair of female, only two females? These are A and D. Option A seems to be the correct fit here. I hope ye kafi easy to be understood tha. Chaliye, next question pe chalte hai. Same question, same set of instruction. How many kids does A have? A is the mother, right? In the previous case, A is the mother. How many kids? One two and three kids so i'll be marking it as three i hope this is done moving on to the next set h has two children and they are b and c i don't know the gender of any of them whether h or b or c but hierarchy wise i can place them like this b is the sister of c now i know the gender of b that is negative all right d is the son of c d is the son of c so d would be somewhere around here e is the brother of d e is the brother of d f is the mother of e f is the mother and c is also one of the parent so c naturally becomes the husband right now g who is the sister of d g who is the sister of d 
is the grandmother granddaughter g is the granddaughter of a g is the granddaughter so obviously this hierarchy of a and what about a a ke bare mein kya bola gaya hai a is the mother of b a is the mother okay if a is the mother h should be the father and these two are related as a couple and what about g g is the granddaughter of a as per the question is considered how is a related to e what is the relation of a to e if you see a is the grandparent of e and a is the grandmother of e option a seems to be the correct fit here chaliye moving on to the next question dekhte hain a and b are married couple and a being the male member do log married hain to equal to sign aur a ke bare mein bola gaya a is the male member so plus naturally naturally b is female ye aapko main bar bar repeat kar raha hu when we talk about couple although the reality is something else बट यहाँ पे कपल का मतलब है सेम जेंडर नहीं होगा दो डिफरेंट जेंडर्स मैरिड कपल्स आर ऑलवेज टू जेंडर्स टू डिफरेंट काइंड ना डी इज द ओनली सन ऑफ सी हु इज द ब्रदर ऑफ ए हु इज द ब्रदर ऑफ ए हु के पहले क्या लिखा हुआ है सी सो सी इज द ब्रदर ऑफ ए सी इज द ब्रदर ऑफ ए एंड डी इज द ओनली सन ऑफ सी और E is the sister of D. E is the sister. B is the daughter-in-law of F. B is the daughter-in-law of F. And what about F, whose husband has died? Whose husband has died? That means F is a female, and her husband is dead. that is what we have cross means this person is not alive this person is not present in the member h means h for husband now let's see how many male members are there in the family so when we consider how what is the number of members present or what is the gender of female members male members all these type of questions we don't take into consideration someone who is no longer alive so this will naturally go out into consideration ab aap batao how many male members kitne positive sign aapko dikh rahe hain 1 2 3 kya koi aisa hai jiske paas gender surety nahi hai no these are all negative which means female to so, three males are there option d is the correct fit here all right moving on to the next question Question number four: A family has three generations and six members. Following information about the family is also known. W is the mother of U. W is the mother of U. V has only one daughter. V has only one daughter. All right. X is the sister of V. X is the sister of V. S is T's husband. T has a son. Let's start with T with relation. T has a son V. T has a son V, who is married. Okay. S is T's husband. S S. is t's husband so t is negative now how many members are there it is exactly mentioning about six members in the family how many we are getting exactly 1 2 3 4 and 5 now v is also married v is married so v can be married to w and u is there only child and u needs to be the daughter this daughter is basically u right now let's count the number of members 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 members aa gaye 
three generations one two and three generations so all these information have rightly fit in there are two couples yes one couple and the second couple how is u related to s u is the grandchild or let's say granddaughter of s granddaughter option 4 fits in perfectly chaliye moving on to the next question there are six members a to f and c is the sister of f c is the sister of f b is the brother of e's husband b is the brother of e's husband husband i don't know about this part but positive now d is the father of a and grandfather of f so d is the father of a and the grandfather of f there are two fathers in the family okay two fathers three brothers and a mother okay let's see how we can place this kya main ise consider kar sakta hu let's say if i write b plus and then e and this husband is let's say a let's say this is a now let's rearrange and see there are six members 1 2 3 4 5 6 there are two fathers one father and two father done three brothers a and b are brothers and f is the sibling of c so f is also the brother of c according to the question and one mother let's see yes e is the only mother here so it rightly fits in f how do i know the gender of f due to the information as three brothers now how is f related to e f is the son of e option 4 clear by combining these two i can form a definite relation moving on there are eight members in a family p is the father of q r is the brother of q s is the son of q t and s are brothers so positive u is the mother of t u is the mother u is the mother to ye dono couple ho gaye or q is the father now z is the grandson of v z is the grandson of v q and r are children of v q and r are the children of v that makes v the parent and the grandmother how many members eight members let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 aat log aa gaye which means ki z is the sibling of t s and q and u are the parent how is u related to p u u is the daughter and this relation is after marriage so she is the daughter in law to p exact answer not daughter daughter in law exactly chaliye moving on who is the father of z let's come back to the following diagram who is the father of z father of z i know for sure it has to be q q kyunki dekho r ki shaadi nahi hui bola gaya there are eight members in a family to r ki shaadi nahi hui hai to naturally z 
Zs is the son of Q. Who is the father of Z? It is Q. We don't have a possibility as either. These two are wrong totally. Okay, because number of members given in question. Alright, moving on. Seventh set. There is a family of six members numbered A2F. And their professions are teacher, doctor, lawyer, student, businessman and architect. There are two married couples. B is the mother of E and F. Gender, abhi nahi pata. The businessman is the grandfather. The businessman is the grandfather of F. Who is a teacher? Dekho, who ke pehle kya likha hua hai? F. So, F is a teacher. Now, teacher is done. The businessman. So, let's write businessman. Is the grandfather. Alright. Now. The Dr. D is married to the businessman. The Dr. D is married to the businessman. Which makes, if it is positive, the businessman, this has to be negative and she is a doctor. So, doctor, business, gone. What do we have? C is the lawyer and is married to the lady architect. C is married C is a lawyer, positive because B is negative. Lawyer and she is married to architect. Okay. So, architect gone. Lawyer gone. Student is what we have. So, naturally E would be the student. And who is this person businessman? That person is A. Now, what is the profession of E? The profession of E is student. What is the gender of E? Not revealed. Gender, agar pooch le aap se, gender of E, not revealed. Please keep this in mind. Moving on. Who are the two married couples in the family? Who are the two married couples in the family? Who are the two married couples? A, D, B, C. AD and BC are the two married couple. Do we have one of these as the option? Yes. Option number two. Chali. Next question. Alright. This will be your homework question. Comment down the answer in the chat box. Let's see how many people are attentive. And this ye question is not or not. Ban hai. Next, which topic do you want videos? Chahiye? Please comment down. Although the next videos will be on the topic syllogism, which is a very important topic as per as the logical reasoning segment is considered. All right. See you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep learning. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.